Hey everybody, how's it going? I uh, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to share with you uh, one of my workflows and uh, how the Fuji X-T5 makes my life easier as a photographer. So let's get into it. So I like to shoot the uh, RAW right here plus JPEG. And uh, for this photo shoot I was mostly using that situation because uh, what I like to do is I like to preview in the camera and compose using the square and also using the Acros film simulation. Uh, this is mainly for my intimate landscapes and or when I'm feeling square and black and white. So, <laughs> And uh, it's really great because I can compose and I can see the black and white. I dial in a little bit of warming as well and that kind of mimics a uh, light sepia toning which uh, is something that I would do in the dark room to a black and white print. So this is how I compose the image, but the cool thing about the X-T5 and all the Fujis for that matter, is that it uh, the raw image is the raw image. And so there it is. And so if I wanna recompose, make this two by three, make it square, put the Velvia sim film simulation, which in DxO Labs would be a preset. Let's go there. And so that uh, that's the Velvia film simulation. Yeah, I can do anything I want because the raw is the raw. Uh, the Fujis did not throw away the uh, extra pixels on each side like um, one camera company I know does, which really makes it kind of not very suitable for my purposes and for the way I like to shoot. And I shoot this way a lot. Um, I would say a lot more than, uh, than I shoot uh, any other way. Um, the only time that I really shoot two by three is um, when I am photographing something uh, that um, is like a grand landscape kind of a deal. Then I would definitely um, shoot. I don't know. I just kind of shoot uh, what I feel like shooting for the subject matter. So um, for 95% of these images, the JPEG works great. Um, I would probably uh, get rid of that little branch there. Um, no big deal. Um, I don't see that as being too much of an ethical problem. But um, but there you go. I really like that image. You know, I think I've got one of these without that in it. I don't know. Maybe this one. Yeah, this is it. So there it is. Yeah, I would use this one, not the other one. And I, I tend to um, shoot multiples of things uh, for this exact reason. So anyway, so the really cool thing about the Fujis is um, I was happy with this in the field and uh, that's the way I composed it. But when I got home, actually it was a few weeks later, I was going through the images and this is a, a copy that I made in the field. Um, and I saw this and I said to myself, hmm, you know, if I crop this four by five and if I do the Velvia preset, um, yeah, that's most of the way there. That's a really cool looking photograph. And I'll show you, this is it here. And there it is. And that's my first named image of 2023. And I think I'm going to call it uh, copper and turquoise, but it prints beautifully. And um, I really, this is, this, this is a, an image I'm really happy with. And uh, that, uh, you know, is one of the nice things about how flexible the Fuji X-T5 is and all the Fujis for that matter. And I really, really enjoy shooting that way with it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing there. I want to go over here. Well, actually, I just go like this. So um, there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you out there. Have a great one. Bye.